Well, it was more than just colour to hit Christchurch for its second year running. The Holy Festival of Colour came to town and brought shades of cultural awareness with it. Here's Jared McCulloch. A day of colourful celebrations, traditionally marked by Indian communities all around the world, and it's also being acknowledged here in Christchurch. Over a thousand people turn up to the commons on the corner of Kilmore and Durham Street North, enjoying the annual Holy Festival of Colour. This is the second such event to take place in the central city and one of the organisers says he's happy with the turnout. The whole idea was to bring the colours to the city. The Christchurch needs a lot more uh, you know, uh, help and uh, events so we, we believe that it's going really good. It's adding colours to the city. He says after the earthquakes it was the club's goal to bring a positive vibe back for the locals. I have lived in uh, Christchurch after earthquake. Post earthquake we all thought like we need uh, to add value and colours to the people's Life. So I think in that sense it's really important that we hold such more events and uh, this is really uh, you know, encouraging the people to turn out and everything. So it's very important for Christchurch. The event is noted as being a casual environment with a colour throwing zone set up to throw powder and enjoy Indian fusion performances. <laughs> yeah. But what's the meaning behind all the colour? This is one of the biggest festivals in India and it's celebrated every year in March on the full moon. And the colours all come out to make sure that everyone is equal and to celebrate and forgive. And even security jumped in on the fun. Last year the event was held in the Pallet Pavilion, set up on the same site as part of a gap filler project. However the outdoor complex came down in April last year, but he says it's worked in his favour with them allowing a bigger venue this year. The last year the pallet will be a bit restricted, uh, but we could uh, include more people this year, and we do hope that uh, you know, in future we um, hold it at the bigger venues. But it, this is really an amazing experience. And he says it's not just for the Indian community of Canterbury, instead for everyone to come together. We do events, we try to make it for the wider community so that uh, the different cultures can come together, appreciate uh, each other's cultures and uh, you know, it's a time for each other to build a relationship with each, uh, each other, so it's, it's a great time. And everyone CTV spoke to said it's important to embrace our multicultural city. It's actually really important because like, it makes people gather together and that's really nice. I think it's really important to have more cultural stuff, more uh, enthusiastic stuff, music, fun. Uh, I think it's critical to the city. It gets people out, gets them mingling, gets them having fun, makes the city really alive. The event ran smoothly without any major incidents and now the focus for these party guys will be getting the colour out of their clothes. Or maybe that's just me. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.